Kia ora whanau, it's uh, Rhonda Rhonda here. I'm back. It's part two of Rhonda Rhonda making a hangi in the slow cooker. So anyway, here's our little hangi. It has been cooking away there for about between three and a half and four hours because I forgot to see what the exact time was because, you know. Um, <laughs> I think I put it in at half past eight and now it's sort of like half past twelve now, so that's four hours, but probably three and a half going flat out. Anyway, just you just sort of got to go on about a time and the smell because it kind of smells cooked because every um, slow cooker is different. Like this is an old one, so it's probably going to take a bit longer than the flasher newer one. So anyway, it's, it's starting to smell like it's cooked. And like I said, you don't want to overcook your hangi because um, <coughs> one lady, she asked me and I told her how to cook it. Oh, dear old Leslie Glassy. And um, the poor old dear, she's 76 years old, cooked it for 12 hours. So yeah, it was a bit cremated. So um. So we're all from three and a half to four hours. I'm gonna get it out and just have a look. And if it's not cooked, we can just always chuck it back in there and for another hour or so, whatever we think. So anyway, with the old Tupperware spoons, we're gonna drag, get it out. Hopefully it doesn't drop. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. Chuck it there. Chuck the lid back on, keep the heat in case I've got to put that back on there. Is that good? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll bend that down, pull that back a bit. Unwrap it and see how it's going. So, yeah. It's so easy and it's so simple. Um, I messaged my son in New Zealand, Joshua, tell him I was putting on a video. On YouTube, so he's really excited about it. So he's gonna cook himself a hangi and maybe his brother and his sister once I post this on YouTube. So anyway, I'm gonna rip it open. It better be cooked because otherwise I've got to re tin foil it. <gasps> mm, yes! That is looking delicious. Now, the way to test that it's cooked is all about the meat whano falling off the bone. So, the fork there. Yeah, that's better. Just peel this back here. Oh my god. Look at that. Is the meat cooked? <gasps> Look, yes. The meat is, oh my god. Look at this pork strip here. Look at that. See that? Falling apart. The chicken's falling apart. Um, all the vegetables are cooked. As you can see, the kumara, um, yep, the pork strips, everything there. So here it is there, whānau. Look how delicious that is. And there's your hang. I mean, that's a huge feed that, that could feed about, I don't know, three or four people. But for me, I'm just going to have, this will probably take me three or four days to get through it, but I'm probably going to give some away. So there you go, there you have it. There's your hangi in the slow cooker. Took between three and a half to four hours. Now I'm gonna post this on YouTube. Please like my um please like my video and share it because if I get a million likes I'll become famous like Justin Bieber and I can go home and birth my whano. Okay, so anyway, hope you enjoy that. Next time I might do fry bread or seafood chowder, but one more little stare at this there. That hung is going to get hurt, okay, with heaps of bread and butter. So thank you for watching my video. Have a great day. Bye.